What's going on guys? My name is Rock. Welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for stopping by if you're new and my small little growing channel. Um, for those who have new subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I'm grateful. I appreciate you being here. And for all my long-term subscribers, man, I love you guys so, so much. I love all of you, um, young and old, you know, newer newbies and, and those that have been with me for many, many years. And you guys that have been with me for many years have been with me for a long time. And I'm, I remember you. I, I thank you. Um, you all have a place in my heart. Guys, I want to share something with you. Um, I want to talk to you about something, okay? As, as a man and women, I want women to listen in on my videos. I really hope that you comment down below and tell me if I'm wrong. This kind of goes both ways for both men and women. But... I do want to very, I want to stress this to men. And let's really put aside, I, I want to be very specific, putting aside the fact that we're not trying to minimize anybody's seriousness or, or situation, but I do want to put aside the fact that I'm not talking about married or uh, married men or someone that has family or kids and stuff like that. But I want to talk to you young men, you young men out there that may be possibly getting married or maybe in a marriage, but you're separating or you're dating and you're new to dating. Guys, I'm talking to you and women, listen up. Why is there constant, constant talk about dating and social media dating and constant talk of trying to flirt and all these YouTube videos and all this content about dating and dating tips and, and, and men against women and, and why women are bad and why men are bad and, and, and lies and cheating and and everyone's just kind of this hookup culture and there's constant all this you have all lost your way this is where everything is going wrong we're all being told a fucking lie it is a huge lie and you think that the dating and the hookups and getting with somebody and taking your pictures and your selfies and looking all cute with your with your, with your new girlfriend or your new boyfriend or always trying to show out, have these, uh, these selfie type photos, which is great. It's okay. Once in a while, I don't like, I wouldn't mind myself. Me and my girl will take a picture and we'll put one up, but I'm telling you right now, like in the beginning, we didn't do that. And I see you constantly see this hookup culture. And people putting up like different accounts, different Facebook accounts, just to lie to their boyfriend or lie to their girlfriend or opening up Facebook, um, different uh, dating app accounts and constantly lying. And all this is like, it's demonizing. Men are sexualizing women. And then they wonder why women act the way they do. The guys, man, focus on your building your business. Focus on looking better, getting in the gym. You're putting your energy into the wrong places. Put the energy in that bench, in that squat rack. Put the energy in making good, healthy food, your diet. You're putting your energy and your focus on trying to trying to catch that girl at the gym or trying to catch this girl at work or or, or trying to catch that guy or trying to, you know, flirt with that guy and, 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 you know, hook up with this and that and what whatnot and try to go to the club and hook up with this and that we're putting all our energy in the wrong places, guys and ladies. You're putting so much energy and focus. And I, and I have, and you see, I, I, I saw this on social media recently. I saw this on, on social media actually a couple times. 
where this woman says, well, this man, you know, you got to spend at least, you know, two to five hundred dollars on me on a date on the first date. And, you know, you got it. You got to pay for the first date. And this is not a video about who's paying for the first date or nothing like that. But here's what she did say when they asked her, why do you feel as though that that's needed? The young lady said, because I, I put on all this expensive makeup. My makeup costs hundreds of dollars. My lotion costs hundreds of dollars. I had to go get my hair done, which costs another $300. My nails, another $100. I have to look all this good for you and come out. And here I am. And here I am. And you want me to pay for the date or pay for half of my date? No, I made all this beautifulness for you and you should pay for the date. I'm not here to bash the woman. I'm not here to bash the man. They're both putting their energy in the wrong places. What I do want to say is men and women, young men, young women and young men, and anyone in the dating scene is putting all their energy and focus in the wrong place. It's all in the wrong place. You see, I think I just speak maybe for me and maybe some good, well, many good men, because I like to believe there's a lot of good men out there. But ladies, I believe you're a lot, there's a lot of good women out there too. But I want to let you know a couple things. Guys, that woman does not care how much money you flash. There are women that do care about your money in your bank account. Yes. But I'm going to tell you when it comes down to it, the character and the strength and the wisdom that you possess as a man is going to be more important to a queenly woman. And I say that again, a queen like woman. And if that's what you don't want to recognize you want just a girl or a hoe to recognize you just to have fun for one night well then you go ahead and keep playing that cat and mouse chasing game and waste your energy on chasing because that's all you're going to get is just instant gratification one time while the other guy, the king, is out there looking for his queen and looking for family and to build and create and cultivate. I'm telling you right now, your women and men, I believe all of you are good and I want to see good in you. I want to see good in you. Women, I want to see good in you. Women, let me tell you, let me say this again. Ladies, I want to see the good in you. And here's how you can do it. Yes, take my advice, a guy's advice. So ladies, listen, don't buy in and don't be easily swayed to a guy flashing money or a pretty boy trying to put it wherever he wants to. Where, where I call where, where I come from, we call them fuck boys. And they'll just put it in wherever they can. Don't be the easy target. Don't be easily manipulated. You're a queen. Stand like a queen, walk like a queen, talk like a queen, think like a queen. If you look, smell and act like a queen, guess what? You're a queen. And just saying it is not being about it. it. You have to actually have the character and the wisdom of one by not looking for these things in men like money and, 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 and muscles and all that other stuff. That's great. That's going to come along with the territory. Your king will have that. Your king will be working hard and striving towards greatness. And let me tell you something. Your king may not be have the greatest of all things. Your king may not have the, the, the biggest bank account. 
Your king may not look like the most beautiful man, but if he's striving hard every day, and he's speaking and talking in that direction and walking that way, guess what, ladies? You got a king on your hands. And he's growing into his greatness. Ride. Ride with him. And don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid to ride with him. Because you can see where he wants to go. You see the... You see his determination. You see his drive. Now, man, I want to talk to you. I want to tell you something. Guys, here's one thing I want to share with you. We have recently in this new era, in this new era and way of things, this new generation, a lot of women are actually doing the cheating now. And men are not. Men are actually looking for wives or looking for relationships or looking for love. And a lot of women are doing the cheating now. The tables have completely turned. There's no, that's nothing new. You know that. I know that. But to wonder, to be upset at women or a woman or your woman or any woman, to be upset at women in general and to say that, why are they just cheating? Why are they always trying to show their boobs and their butt? Why are they trying to show this and that? I want a good woman. Where's the good woman? Why are they trying to always show themselves? Why are they trying to flirt? Why are they trying to flirt? Let me explain to you why. Because we got fuck boys out here like yourself. And I was one too. Let Put me first. Throw me under the bus first. I did it too. And so I started seeing clearly through God's eyes. We are causing that. See, indirectly, we actually are leaders in this world. And women believe that they want to take this leadership role because they see the weakness in men. Oh, he's not being a man enough. He's, he's, not, he's not strong enough. You don't have this leadership role within yourself to take charge in things. So they feel that they need to come out of their feminine and into their masculine and take charge and become leaders. And by doing so, they believe they have this, this way of control and power and manipulation to the weak mind of a man. And so they show their boobs and their butt. And why do they show their boobs and their butt? Because we actually sexualize that. We sexualize that. If you look at pornography, pornography is, is a multi-billion dollar, it's a multi, I think even in the close to the trillions, it's a multi-billion dollar industry in the world. Pornography. It's one of the highest rated things to be, to be viewed on the internet. And you have people constantly looking at that stuff and training their mind, their psyche to constantly be attracted to those type of things. And the way you react to it online is the way you react to it in public. You think that you're not, but you are. And then when you see someone's woman's private areas or her, her behind or her chest or her, or this and that or her pretty face and we start to act this certain way and a woman tell me let me tell you something women are intelligent they see that in you they look right in your eyes and they see the way you're looking at them we're we're sexualizing them by doing so by by chasing them by giving the ahs and the oohs we're sexualizing them and so they're filling the attention and they're feeling the, the heightenedness of attention by doing these things. And so deeper down the rabbit hole they go by doing it more and more and more revealing and more skin and more this and more that, more makeup and more sexualized desires and ways about you. And here you are and your sexual desire grows even more and more and it continues to grow. We're bouncing back and forth and putting our energies in the wrong place. We're putting our energy in the wrong place. So young man, please listen to me. Guys, if you like what I'm saying, please thumbs up. Please share the content with young men out there. Please share this with young women. They're, not all men hate you or mad at you. And, and, and women, stop hating all men. Guys, stop hating all women. It is time to put the hate 
the hate stick down and stop hating each other. We need to come together. We need each other. A man's strength and leadership is a necessity. We need that. A woman's feminine, beautiful softness and her caring ways, we need that. It's a necessity. We need that. We, these things that we have put and minimized and put by the wayside are not looked at anymore. We don't hold it to the, our, to the highest most. What's more important now is for us to rush on the app and get how many likes we can get. How, what's the next date I can get it? What's the next person I can hook up with? Can I, maybe I have an opportunity to cheat on my husband. Maybe I have an opportunity to cheat on my wife. Ooh, I wonder if she, oh yeah, we're, I'm going to hook up with her. Oh, that one girl will be at that party. Let me do this. Can I get him to pay for this? Can I get him to buy me that? Ooh, is she going to give it up? I mean, we're going back and forth and we're, we're, we're destroying each other in this whole era and space of relationships, which is destroying the fabric of society. And it's killing the future generation of our children. We're putting our energy in the wrong spaces and you need to put it all down. Here's where you want to focus your things on. And you can be told so many times through pastors, preachers, your moms, your dads, you can be told so many times where to put your energy at. Put it in school, put it in the Bible, exercise, be a track athlete, play football, you know, um, become a banker, be an engineer, become a doctor, do all these good things, make your family proud. Well, here's what I'm going to tell you. All those things are great. And you may be in, in the right path and going th towards those goals. Keep going. But here's where I want to tell you that everything starts. The roots of all good things will start with the love in your heart for you. With the strength in your mind and your body for you. If you're religious, hold your God and hold them tight for you, for your life. It starts with you. It's said in scripture many times that God is love and love is God. And so if love is cultivated within you by you and love is within you, then you are your own God. You are in power. You are in control. Don't half-ass this life. Take control. I love you guys. Please don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We need each other. Stop sexualizing and hating each other and come together. I love you. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Goodbye.